All right, you guys. First of all, this is my eight year sobriety date from alcohol, you guys. June 23rd, 2013 was my sobriety date from what destroyed my life and destroyed my family. Um, hear the thunder? We're getting thunderstorms and some heavy rain right now. Guys, this monsoonal stuff is what I was talking about like a week ago saying it'd be so nice to get like some big early monsoonal storms because uh, that would be a good sign for us. And look at this, this is a lot earlier guys than, than usual. So I'm gonna shut up for a minute so we can try and just drive around. Uh, to the right, we'll get more lightning typically because that's where the monsoon storms come in from. So when we get our winter storms, they usually come in from the south and west, southwest, and then uh, um, our monsoon storms come in from the east, southeast. Oh yeah. But this is awesome sauce, man. I'm telling you, it like scared the crap out of me when the thunder hit. I thought I saw like a camera flash in the middle of the day sitting in my house. And I was, and then as soon as I was thinking, oh wait, that's probably lightning. I heard the thunder and basically, I almost had to change my underwear. Oh, poor kids. You know, we're gonna take the back street right here, even though we're not gonna get as much of a view. At least we won't feel like we're stuck in traffic. So now we're on Fox Farm. Just keep your eyes peeled, guys. Hopefully I'm pointing in the direction of some lightning. Let's see you. I just talked to my friend who's waiting next door at the Best Western Hotel. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna go out. I gotta make a video right now. The thunder just shook the whole house. And he's like, I didn't hear anything. I'm like, what are you talking? Are you crazy? Are you crazy, bro? It was right in front of your face, man. Literally, like, right when I saw the flash, the thunder hit, like, a second later. So I think when you see the lightning bolt and you count one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, I think every one of those seconds is a half mile in distance. It's either a half a mile or a full mile. I think it's a half a mile. So if you count five seconds, the lightning strike was two and a half miles away because you're basically just timing the the time that it takes for the sound to reach you. And uh, there, there, there is a simple uh, quotient for it type thing. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, man. I can't believe it. And our good friend Gabriel from this channel, good friend, uh, like my first friend on here, like my, like my first friend in Big Bear, actually. He doesn't live here though, but they're just friends of our channel. And he sent me something earlier from the, from where the Eagle's Nest is showing that it's like, a, he's like, dude, it's absolutely point. I freaking love him. He's always letting me know what's going on up here. And then I'm, I'm always responding with, yeah, dude, thanks for letting me know what it's like right where I live. <laughs> like I can't see it myself. No, no, but I know what he's saying. It, it, it's out of excitement and I love it. Like I love it. I love it. So keep it up, Gabriel. You know, I just mess with you. I appreciate you. And always, always, always. I hope your wife's doing good, man. I hope your wife's doing good. Guys, these, this is a family of troopers here, man. Tough, 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 tough people. He's got two beautiful daughters too. They're, they're, they're just a wonderful family. You guys are a wonderful family. All right, it's really coming down. This is freaking awesome. All right, we're gonna get into a more open area so we can try and see a little better. This is when I would wanna go on, on 2 and 10 and go up to the top so we can, because we're a metal object and we might attract lightning. A, a, you know, a little more up there. Especially since the trees aren't too tall. Well, yeah, I guess they are still really tall up there, but I mean, I guess I'm just dumb. I guess I'm just dumb. But I, I thought, I think it would be fun. I think that was a John, yep, that was John Law, and he's turning the other way. All right. All right. Insanity. This might be Mikey. I thought that was my my buddy Mikey for FedEx. He's a cool dude, man. His wife has, guys, I had to unsubscribe from everyone's channel and then I resubscribed to everyone that I remembered. 
Um, and she has a channel that like, uh, she'll like go to thrift shops and, but like she, she does a good job. Like she keeps you enthralled and stuff. It's very interesting. And I wish I could remember because I had to unsubscribe to everybody because someone was hacking into my account. Pretty funny actually, but, um, yeah, so that's what I had to do. It sucked because, uh, I thought it was someone from within. I had no idea because who would want to do that? Like there's no money there. So it's like, well, why would you do that? Um, and it's my passion. It's not like I make a living off this. You're not hurting me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like it's, this is, this is, this is fun. This is fun for me. But anyway, it looks like on top of Bear Mountain, it's, it's, a, it's, it's raining pretty good. So we're going to head that way towards the heavier rain because that's where the more instability we will find. And you can hear it coming down. I wouldn't be surprised if we get lucky enough to run into some hail guys what the hail what the hailstones holy crap guys this town needs this so bad and if we get continued rain like this guys i'm telling you like really heavy downpours like this but what if if, if, if the storms can become stationary and just dump like this you guys won't believe how fast that lake will fill up. People are like always, yeah, but it's like 17 feet under its, its uh, you know, its overflow point, whatever the hell it is. But that doesn't mean you need 17 feet of rain. Like you literally, literally we could fill that lake up if we had like a couple just really quick, like three inch, four inch, just heavy, heavy downpours. You guys would be surprised how much water will funnel into that lake. Um, I mean, it's, 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 you guys would, would be shocked. It doesn't take much water. For instance, I think like Lake Tahoe, you could cover the whole U S with like an inch or two of water. If you let Lake Tahoe out on the, on the whole U S uh, mainland. How crazy is that? It would cover the whole mainland. Like that's like, so it's, it's, it's just, and then what, what, like when we get these heavy, heavy storms, I'm telling you guys, like it doesn't take much, a, 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 you know, a few inches of rain can, can add to a lot in a lake. <laughs> I mean, you, you can get lakes that are empty and then you get a huge, huge downpour and it'll overflow them. It's, it's just, it's amazing stuff, and I really hope that it happens so you guys can see. Because I know this happens. Like, I've seen it happen. I, I, it's, it's, it's just... It's weather. Nature. Geography. It's, it's just how it works. But yeah, so we're at Bear Mountain now. This is where I golf over here every day. Or, I've been golfing like every day lately. Trying to playing tomorrow i didn't play today though but here's bear mountain so we're just gonna sit here for a minute and just look at this storm and just see if we can get any lightning huh how's that sound how's that sound folks just gonna park it here for a minute i have a feeling we're gonna get a lightning bolt either right there or right here. I, it's, it's probably going to be right here, guys. To tell you the truth. It's just nasty right there. But we're going to hold the camera out here and hopefully we get something. We got to wait for one bolt and then we'll go. See, that's the problem with thunderstorms, though, is that typically the heavy downpours, which are torrential at times, they don't last long because it's just a... Oh, there's some thunder. You guys heard that? And I hear it coming from that way, so we're going to go that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. And you say it's just a friend. You say it's just a friend. Oh, baby, you got what I need. Say it's just a friend. 
This hole I drive the green because I'm cool. It's not that far, it's like 240 yards, so it's not much, but I still drive the green. It's funny to think that when I was trying, trying to play pro, my average drive, I would carry the ball 275 yards. And then because I had a really nice draw, good ball flight, um, good English on, 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 well, that's why I, I had a nice draw, the ball would roll another 30 yards. <laughs> like, so yeah, I was always over 300 and always the longest hitter in every group I played in. I don't, like, I, this is going to sound pompous, but like, it shouldn't because I'm so small, like, as opposed to a lot of these huge, strong dudes. Um, I never played in, in a group, even when I played 365 times one year, um, I never played in a group where on my best drive I was outdriven, ever. Isn't that amazing? Someone five foot seven. But my mechanics too, throwing a baseball, I was an anomaly. I was throwing like 83 miles an hour my freshman year in high school. Like this skinny little kid. But yeah, there's just some like, I don't know. This is getting heavy. We're gonna see some lightning in just a second. I think it's gonna be right above us. Cause this is getting really, yep. It's, I think I just saw it right there. Keep your eyes open guys. We got someone behind us, so we're just gonna pull into this parking lot. Yeah. Nice, baby. Yeah, I really have a feeling it's gonna be right here. Guys, this is so great. And then just so you guys get a sense of like how much snow comes with, with rain and stuff, so typically what I've seen is that in, in typical environments, it's gonna be for every inch of rain, you'll get about a foot of snow, 10 inches to a foot of snow. And you guys would be shocked to know that the, the Rocky Mountains do not get that much winter precipitation, but because there's such a dry climate, that dryness squeezes out every drop of moisture that atmosphere could possibly provide. So an inch of rain in some parts of the Rockies could produce over two feet of snow. So that's what you guys need to understand. It's like, we'll see them completely buried and we'll be getting the same amount of annual precipitation for the most part. Like Crest, uh, there's some more thunder. Crestline and Lake Arrowhead, you guys, those are spots on this mountain range where if they were the same elevation as Big Bear because of their location, they'd get as much snow as Mammoth Lakes. At least Crestline would because Mammoth is kind of a similar situation. They're kind of on the back side of where the storms hit first. So yeah, they still get a ton of snow, but if they were on the other side of that mountain, <laughs> oh my God, like, it, like they would get almost probably a third more snow. And that's just scary to think about. But yeah, let me, let me shut up and let's listen to this. Just real quick though, here, every inch of rain is typically about 10 inches to a foot of snow in the wintertime. This is a bummer. That's the zoo. Come on. Turn off my car so we can hear it a little better. Come on. That's a trip. It's so beautiful. I mean, that part of bear on the left, that looks like it's pretty heavy. I wonder if I can, you know. Let's check it out for now, hang on. There's some thunder. guys out of nowhere it just started really picking like literally it didn't just leave like one drop it just came out of nowhere just started up 
We're gonna get some lightning right here, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I had to roll up the window. Room. Holy crap. I'm serious, guys. We should be getting some lightning right here. Oh, I'm getting soaked. Roll it up, roll it up. Hope I catch it. Holy dumping, guys. At least for us, this is good rain. Well, we're going to turn into this so I can see out the direction better that I think we're going to be able to catch some good lightning. Right here. Shut off the car. It's not that much. There we go. Oh, there yeah, it's really coming down. This is awesome. You know, we're just going to drive around forget this, man. But we're going to do this. We're going to come up here and then turn right to just take this whole Moon Ridge Road. Alright. This is going to be kind of dangerous right here. As you can't see. I'm telling you guys, it's, something's going to happen right here. Something big's going to happen right here. I can feel it. Right there. Right there. Come on, man. Come on. Come to Papa Lightning. Oh, the storm's dissipating this little. Oh, Shaisa coffin. Oops. heavy rain like this in over a year obviously at this very moment it's not that heavy but it just was for a few minutes pretty good watch the dam breaks because there's so much rain <laughs> that oh man San Bernardino would be very green for a while Guys, these are some decent thunderstorms out here right now. And this is kind of, uh, you know, it's it's not unheard of. Like it's not like kind of like our snow in May. It's not unheard of to have monsoon storms this early, but it's been a little bit on and off all week, so it's it's been it's been kind of cool. Anyway, now we're gonna hear all all the thunder wash. Oh look at my windshield wiper. Look at it. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, let's, there. I'll make it go slow so you can see. Blah 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 blah. Let's do it again. Come on. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. That's just what a dumb windshield wiper. What an idiot. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at this, man. Seriously, this is the beautiful canopy, man. So this is where we'll see some good lightning. I hope. desperately seeking but it's okay love you guys if it gets worse we'll do another video take care yourselves peace out